Hello and welcome to AEFTV in association with Angerati. We're at the third and final day of um, Africa Energy Forum in Copenhagen and I'm uh, joined now uh, by Abel Didier uh, who is, uh, who is uh, um, the president of the Association of Power Utilities of Africa. So firstly welcome. You know, thank, thank you, you. Thank you for taking the time to be here. I know, I, I know you're uh, a very busy man, but we managed to track you down. And uh, um, it, you know, thanks for taking the time. So I was talking a little bit off air uh, uh, to you about the thread of the narrative that's coming through in the, the interviews that I've been having with the ministers and other experts uh, uh, over the last two days. And uh, the, there are three clear points. Uh, I won't elaborate them too much, but uh, you know, it's about uh, people are increasingly looking at the entire value chain. So not just generation, but the power needs to get to where it needs to get to. Uh, there is a increasing concern by the utilities, and um, you know, a couple of them have said that directly to us, that uh, it, you know, it, it, in it, in the quest to get the generation part right, they're being asked to buy power at a price point that is way above what they can sell it at uh, or are allowed to sell it at. And the third piece is, is the regulation. Now, let me ask you this question because again, you know, your, <laughs> your work says it all. You know, you're the head of the Association of Power Utilities of Africa. How real is this problem that the utilities in Africa uh, and probably not just Africa, but are being asked to uh, uh, buy the power and sell it at a lower rate. I mean, what's the consequence of, you know, what's happening there? Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'm the, the CEO of the association. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we have a share, the, the, the president is seated in, in Angola. Uh, is, I didn't uh, mean to promote you, I'm <laughs> yes. very sorry about that. No, right? no, no, so, no, no. So but the CEO is you. the one executive yeah. and yeah. sitting in the yeah. headquarters yeah. in Abidjan. Yeah. And um, uh, in, in my position, uh, what I would like to say that uh, the biggest work that we have today is on the distribution side. Right. When we are talking about tariff, the issue is not only the tariff. The issue is, are we capable to recover what we are selling? So we are talking about our losses. Mm -hmm. We need to work on losses. We are working the whole transformation of our utilities. The deeper transformation is when we be able to have the right distribution and the right commercialization. Because we have two parts in the distribution, the technical side and the commercial side. We just have to use the GSM revolution in Africa, the smartphone. The smart grid today is compulsory for us. Like we go with the smart meter, the smart management of the grid, and we finish with the commercial losses. The distribution losses, I mean the network, we always can have investor to invest in because the customer are just waiting to have the right energy at the right time to consume. If they can pay the prepaid meter, the prepaid cell phone, they can pay the energy. When we are talking about the poor people in Africa, they are poor because they cannot give you maybe uh, a 10 uh, or 100 dollar a month, but can, they can give you two or three dollar every day. So with the prepaid meters, with this uh, 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 revolution or the loss size, by performing the distribution side, we'll be approaching a minoring the gap between what we buy and what we are selling. There, we'll face the regulator saying, look, I work on my losses. Now I'm recovering 90, 95 or, or 100% of what I'm selling. 
my network is clean now i have all the major to perform on my uh, customer size when i'm working on the energy efficiency demand side management all is done the distribution the the, the, the regulator will say okay now i'm sure that if you increase the tariff of one percent or two or three percent this is not going to be losses the regulator are not confident because they know that the network is not performing mm. when you raise the tariff you are raising the losses somebody is stealing the energy when some people are paying higher rates so what you're saying the regulator mm. yeah. is not confident that all is done yeah. for that they are not keen as to raise the tariff so what you're saying is that the first job that needs to be done where uh, is to invest into the distribution network, yeah. make sure that it's fit for purpose, put in the smart technologies that we're that we're yeah. that we were talking about, yeah. and uh, and uh, you know take it from. I mean, uh, some, some some of the losses and, and, and are and astronomical. And dematerialize like, the the, yeah. the 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 the. Yeah. the revenue collection because today we can on smartphone buy uh, our energy mm -hmm. and then at night uh, by the day uh, i don't know need to go to the customer service when you put this mm -hmm. you lower the distribution cost you have now your personal technically is looking mm -hmm. after the network then mm -hmm. you are talking about the right tariff mm -hmm. but today when we are talking about the tariff we are talking not about the right tariff but we just need a tariff to cover the cost and the losses. No, that's not fair. The first working to have a clean distribution network, there we go to the regulator. There the regulator in many countries support. Mm. So let's explore that a little bit. How does a distribution utility at the moment get the investment that it needs in order to, uh, as you say, clean the network you because know? you when you put all this smart uh, uh, system you are making people to pay before they consume the money they pay go to the bank to pay the, your, your loan and then they say that uh, your loan is paid so you can invest in the network because you are gaining more customers why the GSM so said because they have million customers in the country they have 300,000 when they came and then now today they have 1 million the same installation and then they're making money for that, you, when all is paid before consuming, the bank will inform you. The local bank will inform you. Even the local bank has money for that. But when you know that you have just 30% uh, 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 losses, you are not recovering your money, the uh, parastatal, the government body are not paying, the, the, nobody will inform you. Today, we are about to put prepaid meter for the government body, even the ministry when they pay the bill you are recovering in advance before consuming they are fully it's a good business so you're making it sound very simple why is everybody else who i've spoken to makes it sound like it's the biggest problem in the world and uh, they're scratching their heads about it because is it because they're not today, engineers <laughs> yeah I'm not only an engineer i work uh, for more than the uh, around 30 years for uh, power utility and yeah. um, position of the commercial director yeah. and my dream was that everybody can pay the energy can pay the energy but they have the energy when they need it the energy is a product that when people get it at the right moment that they need it they are keen to pay but when they don't have the energy and now you send a bill to be paid you say for what i'm paying i'm not going to pay because i ha don't have the service exactly if they have the service they support you. The utility will be strong when you enhance the distribution side. Now you go. The transmission line have less problem. Yes. Now you go to the generator, mm. the IPPs. Now I have money. Maybe not the right money. Mm. Now you see it. The regulator, the IPP, say no. Now let's find. But we have many types of customer. We have a commercial, the industrial customer, and the domestic. The high street side is the domestic, but the mining company in Africa are not working with the energy sector. What we need 
if you have the mining sector working with the energy sector, you have a credible off ticker, you make money. Yeah, and a lot of the mining companies are doing their own thing, right? So yeah. They, yeah, yeah. They are independent producers, not. Yeah. Like you say, country, when I'm based in Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. all mining, even the raffinery, are on the, net, on the grid. Mm -hmm. That is solely system. Don't allow the mining industry working separately from the energy sector in Africa. You'll be talking the same issue. When you match the development of the mining industry, even the government can have some dividend mm -hmm. from the mining industry to put on the table before talking about sovereign guarantee. The mining sector can help even the, the government to have money to put on the table and attract investor, private investors on the system. It's a whole chain. Mm -hmm. The value chain we are talking about should be not only for the uh, power sector, energy sector, the value chain should be also for the mining sector because the mining contracts are not helping the African countries. The mining sector has to help the African country to develop the energy system, to have a solid system, and then you'll be a reliable system. Mm -hmm. We are working tremendously for the uh, interconnection of the region. Solid systems are being built, but nothing would happen if we are not match matching with the first industrial company, the mining companies. Yeah, because there's, uh, they're such huge, uh, uh, they're so power hungry. Yeah, yes, so they are power hungry. Mm. You feed them, the people can pay on postpaid because they are huge uh, mm. power. And when you have the commercial and domestic uh, people paying up front uh, before they consume, and then your, 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 your system will be uh, credit worthy. The mm. system will not credit worthy because we are not managing the right way. Mm. We should give the right power people to make that to pay in advance. We use this money to fund our uh, upgrade system and our uh, uh, refurbishment because the system are old. The system cannot support the, the, the demand. The demand is growing. Uh, some countries have 5% rate of population, 6% uh, uh, rate of economy. How can we face this demand? By the right network development. Our development today is 11%. And when you take the uh, uh, population growth and the, and the economic growth, you consume all. Mm. It means that we are not doing anything because this population growth is there and the, the economic, uh, economy uh, rate growth is there. Today, we need to do more than we are doing before. There, we are talking about uh, uh, transformation. There, we are talking about new deal to follow African Development Bank. What is it all about? Yeah. That is a, a, a brilliant place. Uh, actually, we have to end it because I'm getting all sorts of signals that, that, that we've come to the end of our time. I've got so many more questions. Maybe another time, maybe I can contact you off air to uh, follow this through. But uh, uh, thank you very much for watching this interview. Thank you very much.